we know that the average electric current symbolized by I subscript average is equal to the amount of charge that passes a given point divided by the time interval during which the charge passes that point. But it turns out that it's going to be useful to solve this equation for the delta Q. That is the amount of charge that passes that certain point in a given amount of time. So we will multiply both sides of this equation by delta T. And of course, when we do that, the delta T's cancel out on the right-hand side. So now we have this equation that tells us the amount of charge that passes a given point is equal to the current, the average current that is, multiplied by that time interval. Now, the question gives us the value of the current, that's 0.15 amps, but it also gives us a time interval. It says one hour. Now, of course, one hour would need to be converted into a standard unit of seconds. So we can just take one hour. We know that one hour is equivalent to 60 minutes and then of course we know that one minute is equivalent to 60 seconds so if we set up a conversion like this we can see that the hours cancel and the minutes cancel we multiply 60 by 60 we get 3600 seconds so that's going to be the value of our delta t now let's take the current and that delta t and start to plug it in and see what we get so the current was 0.15 amps and you might remember also that an amp is equivalent to a coulomb per second. So it's going to be useful to use coulomb per second here rather than amps, as we will see in just a moment. And then we're going to multiply that by the 3600 seconds. Now, so far, we have the number of seconds canceling out. We can multiply the 0.15 by 3600, and this gives us a charge of 540 coulombs. But the question doesn't ask us for the number of coulombs of charge, it asks for the number of electrons. So in essence, we have to calculate coulombs into electrons. But that's just a simple conversion. So for the number of electrons, we can do the following. We can take the charge, 540 coulombs, and then perhaps we know that when we have one electron, then the magnitude of charge on that one electron is 1 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And by setting up the conversion in this manner, when we multiply, those coulombs will cancel out, leaving us with the desired unit of electrons. So basically, we're just going to divide our charge by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. And when we do that, we can see that the number of electrons is about 3.38 times 10 to the power of 21. And that will be in electrons. This is the correct answer to the question. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you're interested in making a small donation to my cause, I would greatly appreciate it. Of course, there's no obligation. I appreciate you taking the time to watch regardless.